Hello Cowboys Nation, welcome to another video and without further ado, let's get to another round of news from America's team. C.D. Lamb sends fans into frenzy after public statement. The Dallas Cowboys are trying to get to the start of the 2024 season with the majority of their squad from their 2023-12 win team. The Cowboys are actually coming off their third straight 12 win season. Star wide receiver C.D. Lamb has been there for every one of those years and has played an instrumental role in their success. However, amid contract negotiations, Lamb took it upon himself to scare Cowboys fans, and he did a pretty good job of it. Dallas Cowboys wide receiver C.D. Lamb posts cryptic statement on Instagram. As C.D. Lamb continues his holdout, his latest social media post could mean something. In an Instagram story, the three-time pro bowler shared a photo of a black-suited Spider-Man. Many feel this post is Lamb accepting the villain role in the contract negotiations. Others feel like it could be him saying he's done with Dallas. One thing is for certain, Lamb's post isn't giving fans confidence that he will be back with Dallas on a long-term deal. Many are questioning whether or not he'll suit up for them ever again. Jerry Jones' one-word message on target date for C.D. Lamb's Cowboys contract Dallas Cowboys team owner Jerry Jones continues to preach the same message when it comes to C.D. Lamb's contract, there's no urgency. Just prior to the Cowboys' second preseason game against the Las Vegas Raiders, Jones spoke to 105.3 The Fan and said there is zero a target date for Lamb's new deal. The 25-year-old receiver continues to hold out of training camp as he seeks a new deal. Via Calvin Watkins of the Dallas Morning News Jerry Jones told 1053 the fan Christy Cowboy of a date to get C.D. Lamb done, zero. Not worried about target dates, wrote Watkins on Saturday, August 17. Jerry Jones had similar message to C.D. Lamb prior to preseason opener. The message is the same one preached just a week prior when Jones created headlines days prior to the Cowboys' preseason opener against the Los Angeles Rams by saying he doesn't have urgency to get the deal done for Dallas' top wide receiver. I don't have any urgency to get it done, Jones said on August 8. Jones attempted to defuse his comments just prior to the Cowboys' game against the Rams by clarifying his comments about Lamb and his potential new deal. I think I got in trouble the other day when I said, look, we're not urgent about CD, Jones said on August 11th. Well, no one appreciates CD being on the field any more than I do. But let me say this, he wouldn't be taking a snap out here today if he'd been here for training camp. You gotta use your head when you expose key players. That gives the other younger players a chance to do it. We know exactly what CD can do and he's worked out with Dak. So we wouldn't have him out here. It has really not anything to do with his contract. Cowboys Jerry Jones teases another move before end of training camp. The Dallas Cowboys may not be done making moves just yet. Just prior to the Cowboys' preseason game against the Las Vegas Raiders, team owner Jerry Jones spoke to 105.3 The Fan and hinted at possibly making more moves along the defensive line before the end of training camp. Dallas recently traded with the New York Giants for defensive tackle Jordan Phillips and signed defensive end Carl Lawson. Sounds like the Cowboys aren't done trying to improve their defensive line, writes Machota on Saturday, August 17. Jerry Jones on at 1053 The Fan while talking about some of their recent defensive line additions, sometimes in the interior, defensive, line, you get a chance to do some things with other clubs right at the end of training camp, in that area. What you're seeing right now is important. It's important to see these guys take reps but tonight won't be the final pieces to the puzzle. Cowboys upgrade with two veteran acquisitions. The Cowboys obviously weren't completely satisfied with their defensive line before making big moves for two veterans such as Phillips and Lawson. Dallas projected starters at defensive tackle are Motsi Smith and Osa Odegizawa. 
While Odegizawa has started 46 games since his rookie season in 2021, 2023 first-round pick Smith started just three games and appeared in only 28% of the defensive snaps during his rookie campaign. While Dallas obviously has high hopes for Smith, Phillips will give the Cowboys some much-needed veteran insurance behind the second-year defensive tackle. The 31-year-old Phillips has started 62 of his 120 career games since entering the NFL in 2015. Cowboys trade for former first-round pick to bolster WR core in fascinating proposal. The Dallas Cowboys might not be done adding playmakers with upside to round out a receiving core that already includes C.D. Lamb and Brandon Cooks at the top of the depth chart. After largely sitting out free agency and making few moves to upgrade the overall talent level on offense around quarterback Dak Prescott, the Cowboys could take an added interest in the waiver wire in coming weeks as well as test the trade market to upgrade Prescott's supporting cash. If the Cowboys are serious about resetting the clock at receiver, in addition to ultimately and eventually making Lamb one of the highest-paid players in the sport, the ideal trade candidate may be emerging. Is Quinton Johnston a perfect trade target for the Dallas Cowboys? CBS Sports NFL analyst Cody Benjamin put together a list of 10 players who could be traded before roster cuts are made, with the Cowboys listed as an ideal fit for former Los Angeles Chargers first-round pick Quinton Johnston. Johnston, 6 foot 4 and 213 pounds would be exactly the big-bodied red zone threat the Cowboys desperately need to add to Prescott's arsenal. Given Brandon Cook's inconsistent career arc, and the fact that Jalen Tolbert, Jalen Brooks, and Kavanda Turpin combined for 36 receptions last season, Woods' reliability and experience could prove to be a key missing ingredient for the Cowboys' aerial attack. However, as a rookie, despite being on the receiving end of passes from star quarterback Justin Herbert, Johnston only caught 38 of his 67 targets for 431 yards and a pair of touchdowns. It can, at times, take several seasons for a receiver to reach his prime, and a change of scenery could be beneficial for Johnston, who played his college ball just 18 miles from AT&T Stadium. Whether the Chargers are ready to pull the plug, already, or the Cowboys to invest potentially premium draft capital at the position, when Dallas faces major quarterback uncertainty remains to be seen.